Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a product review. So I've got some new acrylic art pens from Madame Glam. They've come out with a bunch of new colors. Um, overall, it's like a brand new product to their kind of like product range, you could say. So I've got four colors today. I got to pick out the colors. So I went, of course, went in with four pink, <laughs> of course. Then I also decided to go in for a black and a white because just because they're staple kind of colors. And then I also decided to go for a purple. So directions say shake, press the tip to draw and then just draw. I'm pretty sure you don't cure these. You just leave them for about, I think it says 60 seconds for them to dry and it's good to go um i highly recommend though to top coat them after they've have dried just because if at any moment you get any acetone on these on top of these you might actually end up smudging them or any other kind of chemicals if you're cleaning your house or something so i highly recommend top coating those but they as a product you do not need to cure these or anything like that i absolutely love the packaging i think it's so cute i love that each pen has their own like colored cap and also the little drawing detailing on the actual the kind of like nude sticker has also got the like purple little colored images i just really really like the packaging i think they're super fun as you can see i've already pressed them in so the ink is already at the tip i've created like a short slash like a real so i've already uploaded that on youtube so you might you might have already seen that to them but today we're going to take them to the test and just kind of draw a little bit on my prepped white tips in the background a little disclaimer i am not in any means no like an artist a drawing artist no i can do no art but when you give me a pen and i have to actually draw I don't know about that so you can judge me in the comments <laughs> it's not the best but at least we can give it a go and you guys can see how it works it's super pigmented super pigmented it's one of those where you just have to get comfortable with it once you're comfortable and you really kind of get the gist you know how hard to press down or how like light to draw then you literally got it covered it just takes some time to get used to it just because you know a lot of us don't usually draw on nails so it's a bit of a different texture and um you know nails are curved as well so a little bit different than drawing on pen not pen <laughs> on paper so it does just take a little while to get used to so for the first nail i thought i could pick up the three colors just be i didn't pick up the white because i thought the white is the you know the background so it might not pop up at all and i just thought let me just draw let me just scribble and see what kind of colors will come out so as you can see, they are all incredibly pigmented. You can tell that they are wet and over time they will dry. So at the end of the video, you see them kind of like matted down a little bit. Here's the black now. I feel like if you were to pick those up, I highly recommend the black and the white. Just because I feel like they'll be very picked up. They're just one of those colors that you can, maybe you can do some writing with the black, which will be really cool. Although I, you know, all the colors are great. And I feel like, depends what you're kind of going for, what kind of, now art that you want to do if you're a massive heart drawer i'm sure pink and red will be your kind of pick um but yeah i just went for staples and then two colored ones so this is the first nail looking cute but you can definitely see it being wet and shiny and um, you know when it dries because it goes matte for the next nail i thought i would do a heart i love doing hearts but look i did such a wonky heart there it was so hard to draw on the nail it just takes some practice my hand kept shaking as well later on i tried to draw or write art i think and it was just such a wonky mess, you see in a moment. Um, so here's the heart, and I'm going to colour it in. It was so fun though to play about with them. They were really cool. I really like them. They're definitely like I don't have anything like that in my collection. So it was really cool to have some now, and um, we can use in the future as well for some nail art when I make some up. And then to put it to the test, I thought, let me do some stars with the nail with the purple. And you'll notice here that I am very heavy on my pens so you can see there what i was pushing way too hard and almost like the ink spattered out like i don't know how to explain it but i'm very heavy with my pens and it's not the acrylic nail art pens fault it's completely my fault i really pressed down hard and i probably it's just yeah i don't know how to explain it I just it's something i do see it happened just there as well so just be very gentle with them and it's probably also why i'm having such so much of that purple come out as well like i feel like in the reel that I did, the purple was a little bit more lighter, but here it's a bit more darker, and it's probably because I was just so heavy on it. 
And then with the black I thought, let me just do some dots. Just scatter them around. But just, you know, I'm not going for anything specific. We're not doing a full on set. This is more just playing about with them. Showing you guys the colours. Showing you guys how they work. And stuff like that. So this is the clip where you can all laugh at me. Because... I'm trying to figure out how to draw it and <laughs> you'll see in a moment it's just going to be so wonky and then what I actually wanted to do I did so wrong and then in the moment you see what I actually wanted to do because I ended up wiping it off with acetone and redoing it and it looked a little bit better of what I had in mind. So here I'm going in I'm going to do um well right art in capitals so <laughs> look at that wonky line oh my god that's so embarrassing oh my god. Here's me trying to fix it trying to go over it a couple of times to make it more straight. <laughs> Um, there's the R, and then we're going to do a T, the most wonkiest T you find. There we go, goodness me. And then I thought, let me do, <laughs> can you see how the lines are thicker? Because I was trying to fix it. Then I thought, oh, let me do some extra little highlights. Highlights? I guess that's like a highlight. So, uh, I thought I'd do some purple, and then some pink, and then I thought, oh, maybe purple is a bit like too dark next to the black. And I was just having a nightmare with this one. It was uh, not at all what I had in mind. Um, I also don't, if you're going to also put two colours next to each other, I highly recommend you wait for one to dry before you draw next to it because you end up actually just blending the two together because you can imagine they're both wet and you end up just, they just end up kind of bleeding into each other as well which is not good. So there's a little tip there if you're going to use them and end up drawing right next to one another. And then I'm going to pick up the pink and do some extra highlighting which was just a mess. There we go. This is where I noticed that it was like smudging because the black and the purple are so similar that I didn't notice. But here when I was using the pink, I really did. So uh, don't do what I just did there. But in a second, I'll show you guys what I actually meant to do. So this is scrapped. It's going in the bin. This is a bit more of what I had in mind. Still nothing crazy or wonderful or beautiful. But it was a bit more of what I had in mind. So here are the two, fi well, three final results. I do also in a moment show you guys the nail that I did for TikTok and my shorts slash reels, whatever you want to call them. So here is this one. There we go. See, can you tell how the purple is a bit more lighter than the one on the long tips now? Yeah, it's probably because I was doing it way too hard. So be very gentle with them. They are absolutely amazing. I'll have all the links in the description for you guys to check them out. And make sure to use my discount code to save some money. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.